Welcome back to Bame Farm. Brad's ready to ship out. And we're hopefully gonna pick a bunch of ear corn today. It's cloudy. We think we had a pretty good freeze last night. See some frost on the grass. Uh, and the ground is crunchy underfoot. Of course, I mean, I'm right here by the driveway and this is dry. But, you know, it's, it's hard, I think. So we're gonna go pick some ear corn. We're gonna test out the new idea. It's been sitting and I'll take the Ford picker. So I'll meet you at the field and hopefully everything goes well for once. some wagons with some corn in them full enough and we're gonna take them to the crib we rented uh, and hopefully fill it up full of ear corn this year and we got two wagons right now and there's another full one uh, I guess head this way this one yeah that way into the Sun so we'll watch for two wagons behind us a okay size wagon and a small wagon. Yep, there they are. Yeah, you guys probably didn't see much picking action this morning. It was interesting. I was having trouble with one picker until the frost started to melt, and then the frost dried off, and then it got really hard again. And Brad was using a new idea. And he thought it was going pretty well until the dew dried off, or the frost dried off. Take a look, this is the corn we still have to go. Now if you look over here, you can see this is lighter, then it gets darker, and there's a little bit of stripes in between where I had to use some of the other corn to finish off the field. This got planted in two pieces, the hillside first while it was dry, and then the bottom part when it was hopefully drier, but not really later. Now if you look through the woods, I still got all that corn to go over there. All the light brown patches are corn I still need to harvest. So yep, there's uh, there's there's a bunch left. So if we can't get parts for the combine or work on them or get them home, we'll pick your corn. Now, uh, we'll see when we can get to the crib, get show you some unloading action. Um, I'm sure everybody will love that. Um, it's not the biggest setup, but it's what I can get my hands on right now. But if anybody close to me knows where there's a crib that someone might be willing to part with, I'm in the market for cribs. And yes, I know about building them out of wood, but this is a very nice crib I found. It's well enclosed. 